Well, good morning, folks. Got a interesting little project real quick. We're going to correctly install a set of sling swivel studs on a shotgun for a friend of mine. So he came wandering in this morning and is standing over here in the in the background, and we're going to get his sling swivels installed very quickly for him. Right way and a wrong way. I see a lot of wrong ways to do it. Let me move the camera down here so we've got a got a picture. I've got the buttstock set up in the in the vise already. And of course we padded our vice jaws and everything so we don't mar up the wood. So the standard old Uncle Mike sling soles and studs. What we're going to do is we're going to install the um, stud in the back of the butt stock and then we'll install a sling sole stud up in the magazine cap. But I won't show all of that. We'll, uh, I'm going to take that over and set it up in the lathe and we'll drill that so it's, it's centered. But anyway, to properly drill a set of sling sole studs, you'll see them guys have put them down here and they've put them up here and the standard is it should be two and a half inches from the back of the butt, of the back of the recoil pad or, or butt plate up to where that stud is and of course centered up on side to side. So got a little jig here. This is my own homemade version of this jig and of course they make a, a commercial version too but uh, I've got a little block set up that I, I do all my, I've got all my tooling set up here with it. Uh, and we've got a little extra tooling. We've got counter bores and, and um, then these are for um, Packmeyer style tooling. So anyway, we'll get into that later. But anyway, cordless drill works real well to install these. And what you're going to do is you're going to set your jig in there again, two and a half inches up to where your hole is. You're going to set it. It doesn't have to be exact, but you don't want it way off. You know, when they put them down here an inch from the back end and that type of thing, why it's wrong. So we're going to set it up there and we're going to eyeball it for center. And we can sight right down the rest of the rest of the gun and the stock. And what we do is we go in just enough to mark our stock, and then we can look and see if that's actually centered up on the on the flat. And stocks will vary a little bit. With they've got cast cast in or cast off or cast on or cast off with them, why it will kick that stock over. So when you align down the, the rest of the gun, why they um, they don't always align so you want to adjust it to where it's straight up on the top of the stock once you've got the top point mounted to where it's acceptable if you put your little jig back on there you simply drill it like that and then of course we've got a counter bore to match that You don't want to countersink, but you want, or you don't want to set up below the surface, otherwise you end up with clearance problems with your sling swivel studs. These all out of here. And what we want to do is I've got my little tapping tool. threads down in there so you don't split out your stock. Make sure you're using the proper size drill and and we want to go ahead and seal those threads. just fine to seal those.
depending on the installation will decide whether you want to use the little white spacer that they give you for underneath there or not. Under the back we will. And a lot of times they'll allow them to seat a little bit nicer on the uh, in your recess on the back of the stock depending on the contour of the stock. So there's our rear stud installed. just like that and now I will take this over set it up in the lathe and uh, we'll go ahead and drill that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our threaded machine screw and I may not use this one that was in the kit I may use one out of my kit and we actually put the nut on the inside we lock tie them in place and then we stake the outside so it can't move because we want that to rotate in the in the magazine cap when we're done I'll go ahead and drill that over in the lathe and we'll take a look at it when we get that drilled We've got our end cap drilled, drilled and countersunk, both sides are deburred, not really countersunk, and um, I'm swapping out the stud that came in the in this kit with a half inch stud, and I actually shortened it up just a little bit more. So this one will go back into the drawer, we'll get it out of the way. And then what we do is we just take our cap. This is an aluminum cap. We drop our nut down in with the flat side down. And you hold that centered up. We actually want some Loctite on here because we don't want this coming out. People are not happy when they're trucking around through the woods and the, um, the sling sole studs let go and their gun hits the ground. Not a must-have thing, but anyway, you hold your nut in place on the inside. You have to make sure your stud doesn't Loctite itself to your cap. It's not a major thing. You want it to where it's got just a little bit of swivel to it. Then we want to just stake our stud in place. We want it down so we don't have a whole lot of play. staked on the inside. We got minimum friction. It's a little bit tight there, but that'll seat itself in real quickly. Just about like that. And then we've got our sling sole stud. There we go. That can be done with pretty much all uh, magazine caps. Yeah, the other options are to put a barrel band around the barrel, but uh, kind of the one of the standards anymore has become just to install a sling civil stud in the in the cap. If somebody doesn't want it, why they can always replace the cap. Or you pull the sling swivel out and it's uh, it's a done deal. And that pretty much finishes up this project. There we've got a sling swivel up front. We've got a sling swivel installed in the rear. And it's a done deal. I'll hand it back to him. He can put his sling on it. So hopefully that gives you a little more insight. And we won't see too many more uh, sling swivel studs that are not positioned properly. So if you find it helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. If you have any comments or suggestions for me, leave them in the comments section below, and thanks for taking the time to watch.